This is Chris Lopez just looking at a little tiny difference between multiple choice or check boxes. So something that I found is when you set one of your Google Forms up as a quiz um, and you want to have more than one correct answer, if you have multiple choice, it would let you pick more than one of them as the right choice. However, it wouldn't let kids make two choices when it's their turn on the end. So I have this set up and I have uh, the title here, place for first name, last name, make sure that those things are required um, because I have multiple buildings, home buildings important for me. So I have this picture here in with the question and I want them to choose two. So when I made it, I needed to make sure that my question type is check boxes and not multiple choice. So when you choose the check boxes, that then allows students to actually make those two choices. Now, they can make those two choices, but the computer only knows all right or it gives zero points. So if they get one out of the two, but not both, I'm gonna show you where you need to go so then you can update uh, so that it will actually give them credit. When I go into the responses, what I want to do is I want to focus on the questions so that I can look and I don't first name that that one I'm not worried about not last name not home building um, but then looking at the setting so here's the two and the computer automatically knows oh I give two points because they had two right answers but right here this one when I first came in it wasn't giving them it came up automatically as a zero this is something that my students did a few weeks ago so I've already graded this so I'm going back and now that that's a zero, I needed to say, now hold on, if they got one out of two, they should have a one. So they should have one point for one right and one wrong. And so this, oh look, this kid right here, they needed to have one point as well. So five people chose one correct answer, but another one. So because there were so many choices here, there were a number of different ways to get only one out of two points. So I need to make sure that for each of these one out of two points, and also that when I'm scrolling, I don't accidentally reset that to zero. So you need to make sure. And also like if you go in and only half the kids have taken them, now this two incorrect. So these should be zeros because they got they're missing two out of two of the correct answers. And now when I save that, that will automatically update. So I have everything, I, I like to view my responses in sheet and it automatically updates those grades in the sheet. So when you press that, it puts the responses into sheets and I'll show you what that looks like. So I went in and I just, I hit the kids first last names and, and their home buildings. But this is something where you would then, it gives you all of the scores. So I do not like this view if they have an open response and I need to grade it. But if it's just multiple choice, this view is great, especially if you wanted to use this for different sections or you have different buildings, because then you can just select all of the students and go and do a data sort range. And for me, I know that the home building is E, that's my first sort, and their last name is D, that's my second sort. And then when I do that, it will put everything in the same order that it is in my grade book. So that way I can just go through and go doop, 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 and mark all of their answers.